y'all. So, this is editing Charmaine here. And I just came on because I realized that I didn't give any kind of intro to the vlog before it just kind of started. Um, so, these first clips that are showing are from last Saturday. Last Saturday when the Indie Gun Show was here. Um, so, I just had some clips from that that I'm showing. And then I get into why that this is basically a two-week vlog a little bit later. But I just wanted to come on, give y'all a quick intro. Say, hey, it's a beautifully star here. Um, thank you for coming back to you. check out a vlog of mine. Um, and just stay tuned and keep watching. The vlog starts now. I can get some more packing tape to finish closing up this box to ship it back the mirror um, and then we're going to the post office take it in and this box is so heavy um, but I have to hurry up and get it shipped back um, I didn't want it returned by the 30th um, so I just want to make sure that it gets back on time and they don't try to jib me out none of my money so I'm going ahead and taking it back myself today but I just gotta go up here and get some tape because I had started packaging it and I had, I had it all the way taped up and everything with just the right amount of tape until I realized that there was a um, a packing slip that I needed to print out to put inside the, uh, of the box. So I had to cut it open, put the slip in there and then we tape it and halfway through taping the box back, I ran out of tape. So I had to finish closing off the box and attach the label to it. Um, I just have it taped to the top with some regular like um, scotch tape. So um, I'm gonna attack it correctly once I get the tape from Dollar Tree. But that's what we gotta do. And then I'm going to run into UPS because I need to ship this other package back to Amazon because I ordered um, it's like the little extender face mask piece that goes over to give you like extra talking, breathing talking room in your face mask. I ordered that and it came with, it's supposed to come with five of those and then five extender pieces to go behind your head. But my package came flat and it only had the extenders in it. It didn't have the actual mouth cover parts in there. So kind of to them, they're sending me a replacement it shipped today so I should have it tomorrow and hopefully everything comes correct this time otherwise I'm just gonna get my money back um, but I have to take this I meant to open this 
and I have my knife in my purse. Um, hope it open. Yeah, it literally is just the extenders. It did not come with the actual face brackets, so I'm sending these back. Um, and I have like a little return piece on my phone for Amazon, so that's just so stupid, but whatever. But I'll talk to y'all after I get this buddy back here situated. Okay, y'all, so I did all that ripping and running, running right? So I went to um, Dollar Tree. They didn't have no packing tape. So I had to hurry up and run into Kroger's since it was right there. Okay, so I hurry up and ran into Kroger's and I had to pay $4 for some packing tape um, so I can finish sealing that off. They line was super long, but I ended up making it to the post office right. Mind you, this box is extremely heavy for me to be carrying around. I get to the post office and get inside and the lady's like, oh, this has a first a first class um, tracking on it. I can't send that box with a first class tracking label because it's too heavy. They're gonna send it back to me. So she was like, you need to tell, the, tell them to send you a priority shipping label. So I have to carry this back and back outside and try again. She was like, yeah, she was like, I would take it, but it's like, they're just gonna send it right back to you because, they're just gonna send it back to you because that box is too heavy to go first class. You need a priority label. Mind you, I think this box goes to, I wanna say it goes to China or something like that. Yeah, one of those, I believe. Um, so she was like, you need to tell them to send, so you send you a priority label. Okay, so I drive the box back outside and put it back in my car. Um, I ended up messaging, going on eBay and messaging the customer service. Mind you, you can't call them. So I had to do with a little assisted chat. Um, and at first she couldn't find my return. But then she, she found it and she said, so we'll tell them to send you a sufficient label. Is that okay? I said, yes, that's fine. And she was like, we'll give them five business days to send you the, the, for the seller to send you a new label. And if they don't send you a new label in that amount of time, we'll just refund you and close out the case. I said, okay, that's fine, whatever. So I screenshotted all of the conversation. That way I had it for my records and then they ended up sending a, a copy of it to my email. Um, so now I should take this box back in my house, but I'm not. I stuck it in my trunk, so... Maybe I have to take it out the trunk and take it in the house because I don't want nobody, nothing to happen to it in my car. I don't know if it's going to get colder or not. So, I just, it's a lot of stairs to my apartment and I just, I, I really don't want to take it upstairs, but I guess I will just so, just so I know that nothing will happen to it. It won't just be in my car and it can potentially get broken to or something. So, I guess I'll go ahead and take it in the house once I get home. Um, I'm not gonna we're heading now. I'm supposed to go to UPS, but that's not about to happen right now. I guess I'll do that tomorrow or something. Um, I don't even know what time they close. They may close at six as well. So I'll just have to remember to do that tomorrow. Um, I'll leave that in the car too. There's nothing else in this envelope. Um, so, Um, so today is um, Monday. It's the 26th. Um, I hadn't really been on here last week. It was an extremely hectic week. There was just so much going on. Um, I didn't really even have a vlog to upload this week. So this week's vlog is going to be um, footage I did have from last week plus this week. Um, right now... 20 and just got off work. I had to work overtime today. Um, I am currently headed to pick up some medicine from Walgreens and then I'm headed to the store. Um,
y'all. So I'm back home. I just went to Sam's Club, but I just went to open these two packages that I haven't opened. Um, this one came actually last week and I just never opened it. This is supposed to be the replacement for those mask pieces. Hopefully all the pieces are in here. It looks like it's out here. These are supposed to be white extenders, but whatever. I don't use those probably. But I just bought it for these. They just go right inside of your mask. I'm not gonna put it up to my face, I'll clean them. But to give you more talking room so that the cloth masks aren't right up against your lips. I'm supposed to be five or six. I think this is right, but I'll have to check um, my order history and make sure that it's supposed to be five. Um, I think I'm gonna pay like three dollars for them. Um, I think I'm gonna pay like three or four dollars for them. And I still have to take back because when they first sent they only sent me the strap pieces. Which other ones are clear, so I might just send these back. I don't know, but they only sent me these pieces. They didn't send the mask part. So I have to take that back over in my car so that I can return those. But my other package, this one came today, is this Dulé Kitchen Milk Boss Trick Milk Frother. It's in this pretty blue color. Um, but I got this to mix up my matcha with. I guess it has a warranty. Oh, and there's a free ebook that I can download with recipes. And then keep this card. the warranty as well. So it comes with the stand. That's the stand and then this is it. So it just sits in the stand like that. And we have like a little piece that's supposed to I guess it doesn't have no it doesn't have any batteries so let me get some batteries two double A and then the bottom part just spins when you press button to mix that up so I can't wait to use this when I make my matcha in the morning and it can just sit out on my counter like that so cute and actually I think this is the same color blue is everything I don't know this bottom portion comes off or not. I just had a piece of paper. Let's see. It does not say. But whatever. It works and it's cute. So we'll try this out in the morning. Um, and the other thing that I bought bought these LED candles from Sam's Club. It was $19 for all of these candles and they are battery operated and it comes with a remote that is over here. They actually had these a few weeks ago. Probably like a month ago. I was like, eh, 
him? Do I need him? Do I need him? Do I need him? And I was like, nope. And then I went back to get him. They didn't have him. But now they had them. They had them right up front, probably because it's Christmas time. Um, but it has the candles and it actually comes with all of the batteries for them. So I don't have to, I didn't have to buy any separate batteries. Um, it came with 14 batteries for the camera, for the candles, um, the remote control, and then all batteries. They glow with a warm white candlelight. Um, they do have a timer for six hours on, 18 hours off if you want. And that's all it says. I'll probably open these later. Well, I'm not opening them for this weekend. I don't plan on putting them up yet, so. That's that. Okay, y'all, it's a little bit later. Um, I just wanted to tell y'all this story real quick before I go to bed. Um, so initially, before I had even um, took the mirror back to back to UPS, I started the return request on eBay. And so the seller messaged me, and the seller's name is actually Great Shopping Day 2012. And I think earlier I said that the mirror came from China or something like that. The mirror actually came, it actually came from California. But that's neither here nor there. Um, so they messaged me as soon as I started the return and was like dear value customer I am so sorry and I'm wondering this is exactly how they said it. I'm so sorry here it to save the return shipping fee and avoid to hassle that you return the item to us. It is better you give, it is it is better you can give your friends as a gift or sell it to others or donate it to charity. If you're willing to keep it, I can partial refund 30 US dollars to you directly. Would you accept the solution? Waiting for your reply, best regards. And I responded to them, I said, no, thank you. The item is not as advertised and I would like my full refund, so I will be shipping it back. They messaged me back and said, because the return shipping fee is a little expensive for us, so how about we partial refund 70 USD, US dollars to you. You keep it. Hope you're understanding. Best regards. At this point, I was annoyed. I responded, I do understand, but unfortunately, I would like a full refund for the item since it is not as advertised. They responded, okay, you can return the item back to us. When we receive it, we will we will full refund to you, thanks. So, that was when I had took the item. I had printed off the label that they gave me. It was a first class label, and I printed it off, taped to the box, took the thing to USPS, sent it back. I drag the heavy box inside of the UPS, USPS, and they say, oh, this has a first class label. This is too heavy for the first class label. We cannot ship this. They will send it back to you. You need to ask them to send you a priority label to, sh to ship this. 
at that point I was annoyed because I had to drag the box back out to my car and then back into my house so that nothing happened to it in my car and because I need to get it back to them in one piece. So I ended up messaging eBay's customer service. You can't, for some reason you can't call, they don't have a phone number you can call. When you do call the number, it tells you to find help online. So I ended up finding one of the little chat with me's on, on eBay. And I messaged them and I was like, hello, I'm trying to return my vanity mirror. I was sent the first class label for USPS and they are telling me that it is, the item is too heavy for this label and it will be sent back to me and they say I need a priority label. Um, they asked me for like the case, the tracking information. So I gave them the numbers um, and she was like, well, we will, we will ask the seller to send you a sufficient label. Is that okay? I said, okay, that's fine. Thank you. And she was like, we will give them five calendar days to do that. If the seller fails, we'll issue you the refund and the case will be placed on hold. Is that all right? I was like, yeah, that's fine. Thank you. So a couple days went by. I ended up messaging the seller myself, right? And I was just like, I told them what I did. And they messaged me back again and said, sorry, we just, sorry, we could, their spelling is trash. Sorry, we just could purchase return label by eBay return request. It is hard for us to provide other label. It is better if you can keep it or send it as gift to others or donate to others. If you are willing to keep it, we could partial refund you 80 $80 would you accept I want my money back I messaged them back as previously stated the item does not match the description and I want a full refund for this item and all I said was okay they were like dear customer okay thank you for your reply did you tell me that the item is new and has not been used at all and the shipping box has not damaged if it is we can send another return label to you you can return the item to us can you help me confirm it? Waiting for your reply, best regards. This was on Tuesday the 13th, mind you. I messaged the back, I said, the mirror is new and has not been used, the shipping box has not been damaged. And they said, okay, thanks for your kindness. I have applied for a new return label to my colleague. When I get a reply, I will send it to you. Is that okay? Thank you so much. Blase, blase. Like, that's fine, thank you. So that was Tuesday the, what did I say? Tuesday the 13th. So at this point, you know, I've let some days pass and this past Monday was the 26th. Mind you, the mirror had to be shipped back by the 30th. So this Monday, I messaged out to eBay's customer service again. That was Monday, right? Yeah, Monday. And I let I let the girl know that it ended up helping me what was going on, that I was told to wait five calendar days. It had been about eight days at that point um, from when I last talked to them. Um, and so she asked me for my case number. I didn't have a case number. I was never given one. So I gave her the order number and she was able to pull it up. Um, and she was like, I will be able to close the case since no label was provided to you. She's like, you will receive a confirmation email after this in about 15 to 30 minutes. And the refund will show in three to five business days. I was like, okay, thank you. And what should I do with the mirror? Um, and she was like, if you want to return, wait for seller to, to provide a label for you. I was like, okay, but since you, you're refunding me, do I have to wait for them to send me a label or can I get rid of it? And then she was like, you can get rid of it. Wait for the refund first, just to make sure. Like, okay, thank you. And that was that. Um, so on Monday, I said to wait, I think it was what they said, three to five days for the refund. Monday that the refund actually did, cause I paid through PayPal. So Monday the refund hit my PayPal. Um, and I actually just checked a little bit ago and the refund is pending through my credit card to go back on my card. So I basically got this mirror for free. I was going to send it back and I still really don't want it, but I will 
So I'm actually having my vanity mirror built. My cousin is gonna build it for me. Um, I told him everything I wanted in it. So once I get some more details on that, I will let y'all know about that process and everything. Um, but I'm gonna use that until then. And I guess after that, my mom said that she might want it um, or I'll sell it or something, whatever. Because if, if the mirror works, it's just not what it says it is. So on, I mentioned this in the other video, but it's supposed to, with the dimmer, it's supposed to switch from warm to cool lighting. It does not. You're supposed to be able to put other LED bulbs in it and it won't turn on with other LED bulbs. So, yeah. But the bulbs is themselves that came with it. They work and there were two spare bulbs. So, I mean, there probably wouldn't have been a problem with me using those bulbs. Um, Cause it'll be just like buying one of the mirrors off of Amazon that don't have the interchangeable bulb, LED bulbs. So, but for what I want, I've always, always, always wanted a Hollywood, traditional Hollywood style vanity mirror with the big bulbs and everything. So I want what I want. I want to be able to change them out. So I'm just going to have it built. And in the meantime, all you got once is to have it. At this point, it's mine to do with whatever because I've been refunded. So, and if the seller does message me, I'm going to tell them I don't have it anymore. I'm sure they can get rid of it. So, they should have sent me a label to send it back. I'm like, you are willing to refund me instead of just send me a label. Why not just send me the full refund initially? Like, if you didn't want me to ship it back to you. And quite frankly, I don't care about that you have to pay for the return shipping. That's not my problem. eBay has a satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. So you should have made sure that your description matched your product. Then I wouldn't be returning it. So basically that was that. Um, and the mirror, and you probably, you're not going to be able to see it. But it's actually back there behind my door. So... At some point, probably this weekend, I'll be dragging it back into my room to actually use. So, until my bit one gets here. Um, but right after I had decided to send that one back, I was, my brother reminded me, my cousin, the certified electrician. I was like, oh, I can probably have him help me or build it for me. I was like, bet. And I just pay him for the material in the building and I'll get what I really want. Because he messaged me already. He found most of the supplies. He was just pricing the last few items. He found the... That's when I wanted to have a dimmer, a dimmer, a dimmer switch. And I wanted it to have a USB um, a plug outlet. He said he found a plug outlet that had the two plugs plus two USBs. And he found the dimmer switch. Um, so, he found the bulbs. He priced everything. Um, he just had to price the wood to actually build it. So... Once we get the ball rolling, I will have an update for y'all on that. Um, but that's all I want to talk to y'all about tonight. Um, I'm still going to start editing this vlog, so it'll be good to go. Hopefully by Saturday and Sunday to just upload it since I didn't have a vlog for y'all last week. Um, now I'm going to go to sleep. It is 10.17 now, so... I just do a little bit of editing and go to bed and then I finish up the footage that I collected the past few days so that I'm not too far behind when Friday gets here. Put the finishing touches on it to upload for Saturday. Um, yeah, that's really it. So, good night and good night. I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Peace. Hey y'all, so today is Friday. Um, that's gonna be the last day of this vlog. Um, but I just wanted to come out here really quickly um, and basically end the vlog. Um, this week, I um, wasn't too much. Yesterday, um, yeah, yesterday I didn't vlog, but um, I did go to the gym yesterday. Um, I didn't record because it was my first day back in the gym in like almost two weeks, roughly. Um, so I was a little out of it, but getting back into it. Um, today I worked, and then after that, um, ran a few errands with my brother. 
Um, and then I went to Michael's and bought this cart. As you can see, it's a three tier mesh cart just to go beside um, my vanity so I can put the stuff on there. So like I said, the other day I got to, I basically got to keep the mirror and I got my money back for it. I put the mirror back on my desk because until I get the one I'm having made, I'm gonna be using that one. Um, I needed a place to put the things that I have on my vanity, so I thought this cart would be perfect. Um, like I said, I got from Michaels, it was $29.99, so it was about 30, 30 and some change, 31 and some change with taxes. Uh, I'm about to put this together. And then um, after that, that's really it. Oh, I can show y'all the box that I received from Influencer. So I received this box from Influencer um, called a Vox Box. Um, all I have to do is write some reviews on Influencer's website for this one in particular. Um, this one is their fall box. I actually just received this today. Um, it's actually the most random box I've ever received from them. Basically, inside of here um, is these Advil multi-symptom cold and flu tablets. So I got two of those. I guess I could have showed y'all. This is how it came. And it came with these cards. Like I said, it's the cold and flu tablets. Um, Butterfingers. So there's three, five of those. And then this is Humphreys Witch Hazel Alcohol Free Toner, refreshed with cucumber. So I have this to try. So that's really, and I think for this one, I don't think these cards say it. Now these cards don't say it, but I think for the Advil, it's just a review on Influencers app. The Butterfingers, I believe it's a review on Influencer and a post to Instagram and Facebook. And then the Witch Hazel is just a review on Influencer. I believe I could have that, those two backwards. Um, but it's not a bunch that I have to do. And these are basically items that... They sent me for free. So all you have to do actually is download the Influencers app. So anybody can do it. Um, download the Influencers app. Create a profile. Um, they have what they're called snaps. They're basically like stories that you fill out. Um, where they ask you questions about products that you've tried or whatever. And then um, after you've done so many of them, they select you. They send you an email. when they have new campaigns coming out to inquire if you'd be interested. And... Um, if you're chosen for that particular campaign, then you'll get another email telling you that you've been chosen that you're getting a box. And then once you do receive the box, you do have to do whatever the requirements are for it, um, whether it's a review or a post to social media. Um, but you do have the option to opt out if you don't want to do whatever campaign you were selected for. Um, this is my third box that I've gotten so far. So I'm excited.
and then we're gonna put the wheels on the bottom. I guess you could not put the wheels on it if you didn't want them to. Um, but since I'm putting this on the side of my vanity, I'm gonna put the wheels on them. That way I can just slide this around um, when I'm ready to use items on it. We're just gonna flip it over so that we can put the wheels on. And there are two of them that have stoppers so that they don't move. So these, I believe, have to go on the same side. And that's it. And she rose. And I can put all my stuff on it. Um, yeah, but that's really it. Um, I have this all together. Um, oh, I did say on Sunday, um, since Sunday is beginning of a new week, it's also the 1st of November, I am putting myself, getting back to where I was. So, like I said, I kind of fell off with like my fitness and eating healthy within like the last about two weeks roughly. Um, but since Sunday, Sunday is starting a new week, it's starting a new month. Um, these two months left for the rest of the year to really get it together, stick to my eating habits. So I'm challenging myself to pick a workout plan to go on, workout daily, um, read my word, and um, eat healthier. So I think I'm going to do the <clears throat> one of the Chloe Things workout challenges on YouTube. Um... I think she has a 21 day challenge, so I may start with that and then just do like my normal workouts. Um, but I figured I'd say it on here. That way I can make myself, hold myself accountable, make myself stick to it. So be on the lookout for those videos coming soon. Um, yeah, that's really it. Um, so like I said, yeah, starting Sunday, you know, we just, we getting healthy and getting it together, making sure, you know, gotta gotta start somewhere. So I'm starting over. Um, starting over, so you can't be afraid to start over. So that is what I am doing. Um, one way or another, we're gonna get healthy and we're gonna get it together. So, and I said, yeah. Sunday, new week, new month, and the first, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's really it. I am going to end the vlog here. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. And again, thank you so much for checking out another vlog. Um, be sure to interact in the comments, leave me some messages, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. Um, so yeah, I will see y'all next week. Bye.